Hey y'all, it is me. Stop, drop, and roll on. And I'm checking in. Just mainly because, ooh, dirty. These glasses look like they've been playing while I was asleep. Mm, I don't know how that happened. And you gotta know I know how it happened. I'm the one that did it. Anyway, I'm checking in. Something, sometimes I wrestle with whether or not to put videos and stuff up. Y'all can tell I got on my workout clothes because at some point, that's what I'm going to do today. But, um, I wanted to check in because I was thinking about something. This isn't really an intention. It's just something that, um, actually it's two things I was thinking of, but I'm only going to talk about one in particular. Um, I was in there fixing breakfast because that's one of the things that, like, breakfast has always been one of the things that I could kind of, uh, take or leave, okay, seriously. I mean, like, I could get in here, get a cup of coffee, and I'm then, I'm done. You know, I'm not really thinking about much else beyond that point for a minute or two. But, breakfast actually is one of the important things and i realized that it's not something that i didn't know it was just that you just be doing what you want to do and um i remember this pastor always used to say sometimes he would say stuff and he'd be like now you're doing this and you're doing that how's that working for you and so um this it wasn't this morning but i was just saying when i was in there fixing breakfast for myself uh today which consisted of breakfast. I'm not going to go all off into the logistics of food. I'm really working really hard not to do that. Um, but um, I was just in there thinking about mission possible. I mean, Pierre is really, I mean, he has all the mission impossible um, DVDs or whatever they are. And at first, when I first got married to him, I was like, can we just look at girl movies all the time? Do we have to look at all this running and jumping, shooting and diving, going around the corner on two wheels, and then rolling out the car, and then you just stand up unscathed? And that turned into the just how things was going for a long time. And then, slowly but surely, I started looking when the, when a new Mission Impossible came out. I'm looking at it. But this morning, I was in there thinking, and I was like, you know what? I do choose to accept this mission. And I do feel as though the mission is possible. And by mission, I'm talking about getting my body into subjection. I mean, it's not, for me, it's <clears throat> not dieting. It's getting my body into subjection. Me ruling over it and me not being ruled by um emotional eating or emotional not eating you know because still that's still neither one of those are good really and truly it's not so the deal this morning when i was in there you know getting my, my stuff ready i was just like you know what i choose to accept this mission and i choose to put myself in it just like a person does when they are involved like looking at like the movies um Basically, all the actor was, was a strategist. And the whole idea is to blend in so much that you're doing your mission as you go along looking like you looking like everybody else. Because if you notice, every time they start getting into uh, real deep kimchi, meaning they getting in trouble and stuff... What will end up happening is they run into a crowd and then just start walking slow and looking around like, you know, I'm just one of y'all. When you know that you just dropped out of a helicopter and landed two inches up above the floor and hovering like this and all that kind of, all of that just occurred. And then here you are strolling down, you know, the, the avenue or down, you know, the little uh, pier or wherever you are and just blending in with the crowd. In this instance... I want to be blending in with the crowd. I don't want to be a part of it. I just need to blend in. Because at this point, where I'm at is, I'm in it. 
I'm not of it. I'm transformed because my mind is renewed. That's biblical, y'all. I'm just saying. So my thing at this point is I need I am a strategist when it comes down to what I am the way that I'm eating. I'm a strategist. My number one thing is to be like everybody else. We only eat a small amount of our life. Eating is a small percentage of our day and our time, or so it should be. The rest of the story is, is that when something gets more pressed than it ought to, more attention than it should be, it becomes a obsession. I'm not interested in obsession unless it's, I don't know, I don't even like the cologne, the perfume. So I'm not interested in the obsession. But what I'm saying is, if I am going to do this, then I need to approach it like a strategist. And I need to look at it as this is a mission that I can complete. I'm and no back here in the back of my bun, well, puff, that I am going to be doing this mission for the remainder of my time on this side of the stratosphere. That this thing called eating is going to be placed in a right context where it's not consuming my day, which means that just like a good strategist, I plan. And that has been the, the difference for me over the last couple weeks, not just really kind of, I was kind of eating haphazardly. One day I'm doing this, next day I'm doing that. And hey, today I ain't doing nothing. Then I'm mad. Then I'm mad because what I was doing over here wasn't working. And you know, oh yeah, ah, uh, doing that. You can't get anywhere when you're all over the place. Double mindedness is not good. It creates instability. In all your ways. Because if I'm double-minded about my eating, which means that I'm unstable, you know, then I'm upset emotionally because things aren't working. Physically, my body is staying the same. And if everything was 100, then I wouldn't even be having this conversation with y'all. Okay? And then it starts kind of like burgeoning out and affecting my relationships and how I deal with people. You might be a person that's given over to being, you know, um, you're really acting like an introvert, but the inside of you is screaming to be out and about, but you can't because what you are doing is holding you back, meaning what you're doing as far as eating and moving around and stuff like that. So I decided I'm going to act like a strategist, which means I'm going to plan. So when I am out in these social situations, I'm not sitting up here acting like a Pharisee and a Sadducee. Oh yeah, girl, I sure do wish I could eat that, but you know, I'm on such and such, or I'm doing this, or I'm standing over here, you know, planning. I don't have to make a spectacle out of myself just because this is what I'm doing. If I know what I'm doing, I already have a plan before I get there. Unexpected things happen. And that's when you need to be quick on your feet. Because, you know, sometimes in those movies, uh, what will happen is the guy will have his plan all down. And then you find out this girl you hanging with ain't 100 and she's actually working with the enemy. And so you got to kind of switch your gears real quick. But the bottom line is, at the end, I always came out on top. The mission got completed. That's where I'm headed. I want to complete the mission. I've accepted it. I really have. My mindset is so different about this thing at this point. Y'all, I don't even know what took me so long to understand this. Other than the fact that probably before now, I probably wouldn't have been able to understand it or take the information and move with it. I just thought that maybe that would help somebody beyond myself. Because it was just like the light bulb went all the way on. It was kind of flickering, you know. But it's just like the electricity came all the way through the line today. So, I'm going to be... Yeah, I might show y'all what I'm eating. It might be something that you can take and tweak and make it fit into your program. It might be something like, mm -mm, I don't even eat that. I don't even do that. And for that, I just say pass on by because maybe the next time I put something up, it might be all you. Because that's what I do. You know, I'm looking at other people's channels. They eat something that I can 
work with or if it's something I can tweak, that's what I do. So, y'all, I have an open mind, but I have a clear strategy, okay? Yesterday, I got on the treadmill and I walked almost two miles. Yeah, I did. And um, I was all right with it. I wanted to show y'all. Y'all remember uh, I showed y'all when I did my haul from the car, when I did my haul on my gym clothes and stuff, my um, yarn that I had bought because I was going to learn how to do something. Well, we're making progress. I'm so proud of myself for learning how to do this. I actually sat down and read a pattern and learned how. Here's the yarn, lest you think, okay, and there's the umbilical cord. It's all hooked together. And yes, I did this. So my brain still works. I'm still able to learn. Okay, and that's a good thing because I don't ever want to stop learning. And sometimes I don't even want instruction. I want to know that I can follow a directive. And so I'm real proud of this. It has really opened up my mind to like knitting even more so because when I went to my knitting class, my instructor was like really surprised and everything. And so she will be really surprised when she sees how far I got. So, y'all, I just wanted to bring y'all up to date on that and let y'all, hey, okay, and let y'all know all is well. And I'm all right. Y'all need to be all right, too. We need to all be all right in what we're doing and be moving forward and not, you know, just standing still and looking around. Because when you do that, you stand around and do this, you get left behind. Don't nobody want to be left behind on no level. Okay, and you know what I'm talking about. All right, y'all have a good day. Toodles.